Hi everybody, I'm Miss Lori and you're back here in the kitchen at Whippoorwill Holler Homestead. And today we're going to be making a pie. And it's not just any old pie, it's an old fashioned apple butter pie. Now I don't know how many of y'all love apple butter, but I do. And even more than that, um, I love pie. <laughs> so if you put the two together, I don't see how you can go wrong. Um, I have a video making pear butter and, and peach butter, but I have yet to make a, a video baking apple butter. But I do have apple butter, and I do make it. But uh, if you want to see that process, just go down in the description box and uh, watch my pear butter video because it's the same process for apple butter. There's no difference. Uh, we just tend to get a lot of pears, and we love pear butter, so it's pretty much the same thing. But this is an old recipe. It's got just a few ingredients in it that you probably have in your uh, your refrigerator and your pantry already. And it's so good. And it's almost like a custard pie. It's It's got that consistency and that texture, and it's just really good. So I know y'all are going to really like it. I've been wanting to make this, and it uh, seems like I just try to go down my list of different recipes and recipes that people have asked me to do and I, st I still have a long list but anyways we're going to get started with our pie and uh, I've got a nine inch pie uh, dish here and I've got my unbaked pie crust in here and I've also got a video of an easy pie crust recipe now this video is not about making pie crust so we're not going to do that we're just making our pie but if you want to see how I make my pie crust, just go down the description box and click on my pie video. And it's a very easy recipe and it's good too. So anyways, let's get started on a filling. What we've got here is a half a cup of apple butter. Apple butter, it, you know, it's something that's been around, around for so many years and uh, because it's such an easy process to make any kind of fruit butter. Especially when you just got, got an abundance of fruit like apples or pears. So we got our half a cup of apple butter. We got two large eggs beaten. We got a half a cup of sugar. We've got about two tablespoons of cornstarch, and you can use arrowroot if that's what you use. Most of the time, that's what I've got is arrowroot or cornstarch, either one. And this is going to be your thickener. Let's see, I need a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, even though my uh, apple butter has cinnamon in it, I'm going to go ahead and put a teaspoon. Now, if you don't like, you know, too much cinnamon, you might just put half a teaspoon or just leave it out either way, but it's just really good. Just add a little bit more into this pie. So we got our apple butter, our two eggs, sugar, cornstarch, cinnamon, and all I got left is two cups of milk. Now this is fresh cow's milk that's still got the cream in it. Um, <laughs> This is what me and Mr. Brown drink. We mix that cream up with our milk. We just kind of shake it up and we drink it. Um, but you need to use a full fat milk if you're gonna make this pie or any kind of a, a custard pie because you're gonna come out with a better uh, result with your, with your texture and it thickening up for you and getting just that right consistency. You don't want to use a 1% milk or a 2% milk. Um, I'm not saying you can't, but you're just not going to get a good pie with it. So this is two cups of whole milk. And I'm just going to whisk this up. You know, it's getting about time to be going and checking the pear trees here in Arkansas. 
um, see what they're looking like. Last fall, we picked a lot of pears. And even the, uh, I think two years ago, we got a lot of pears. You know, there for a while here in Arkansas, it seemed like we didn't have a whole lot of fruit coming off on fruit trees. And it was because we were having such harsh winters, I think. And, uh, you know, there for a while we was having ice storms and just, you know, it was just really hard on our fruit trees. But the last couple of years hasn't been too bad. So I'm going to try to get this mixed up good as I can. You want your oven set at 375. Now this pie is going to bake for an hour. So you might want to cover the edge of your crust with aluminum foil or if you got one of them uh, metal rings that goes around the edge of your pie to keep your crust from burning. You might want to do that. So it's already mixed up good. I'm just trying to make sure that my uh, arrow root is not big clumps. Well, I've got some right there. And then all we're going to do is pour this into our unbaked pie shell. I don't know about y'all, but I'm really getting excited for fall weather because I just love the cool Christmas. Chris <laughs> I love Christmas too, but just that cool air, not real cold, but uh, you know, the mornings are kind of cool, but you can go out in the afternoon and work, you don't really have to put a coat on, and uh, I love a fall garden, and I just, I don't know anymore, I think fall is my favorite time of year. Now I say that, and by winter time I'm ready for spring to get my plants in the ground, but I do love fall. So we're going to pour our apple butter custard filling in here. And it is a very loose filling, but it's going to cook, like I said, for an hour. So it's going to cook into that custard consistency and be really good. So I'm going to carefully take this out to my outdoor oven because I don't want to turn my oven on here in the house. And uh, I'm going to time it for about an hour. I'm going to go out and check it. And when I jiggle it, if it's just got a little bit of jiggle in the middle that seems to be done, I'll probably take it out and just let it sit out for a while. So anyways, let's get it going so we can eat some pie. While the pie was baking, I thought, well, I'm out of apple pie spice. So I thought this is a good time to go ahead and make some up to put in the pantry. Because you know, fall's just around the corner. And we will be using quite a bit of the apple pie spice. It's real easy. It's just got a few spices in there. Mix them up, put them in a container, and you'll have them on your pantry for a, for a good, well, most of the fall and probably into winter. And all you're going to need is about a half a cup of cinnamon. I'm going to use four teaspoons of nutmeg. Now there's different, there's a couple of different kind of nutmegs. And uh, there's a Spanish nut, nutmeg and that's what this is. And it's just a real deep nutmeg and we need let's see two two teaspoons of allspice more or less <laughs> and then we need two teaspoons of ground ginger and I like putting a little ginger in my apple spice uh, it just has that it just gives it a really good flavor, just that, you know, if you're making an apple cake, an apple pie, um, apple bread, even, it's good, this is really good in any kind of a 
pumpkin bread or anything like that. Muffins. So it's really handy to have. So that's all there is to it. You just kind of mix it up. Now you can um, double, triple, whatever this recipe. But this right here is going to last me a while. So once I use it up, I'll just make me some more. So it's a real good thing to have. So y'all make y'all some apple pie spice. Like I said, you can... I probably should have put that in a smaller jar, but that's what I had handy. So you can just pretty it up like that with a little top and put it on your pantry shelf and you'll have apple pie spice whenever you need it. So I'm going to go check that pie and see how it's doing. Okay, let's check our pie. It's been, well, it's got a couple, it's got two minutes before the buzzer goes off. Oh, it smells so good and it's all puffed up. It's a little bit jiggly. And when you stick your knife in there, it comes out plain. Just a little bit. It's done. Let's take it out. I'm going to leave it out here on the back porch and let it cool off a little bit. But I want you to look at this, how that custard. It just, let's see how it's done. It's jiggly, but it's, man, that looks good. I just can't wait. But we're going to let it cool off. Just let, let it sit up just a little bit more before we cut into it. Yummy. Hey, our pie is still a little bit warm, but I can't wait no longer. I've got to taste this pie. <clears throat> oh my goodness. It has like a couple of different layers there. It looks like the, uh, the apple butter kindly cooked up to the top. Then you got your custard in the middle. This is going to be great. So we're going to gild the lily on this one too and I'm going to put a little whipped topping on it. I mean why not? <clears throat> and we're going to taste it. Mr. Brown loves custard pie. Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so good, y'all. I think today, right now, right this minute, this is my new favorite pie. That is so good. Y'all have got to try this pie. If you don't have any apple butter, Go to the store and get you some <laughs> because y'all gonna love this pie. I'm telling you. I hope y'all like this recipe. I hope y'all try it. If you like a good custard pie and you you love apple butter, you're gonna love, love this pie. So y'all give it a try. So we'll see y'all probably in a couple days. Y'all have a good week. And God bless everybody.